All right, so I got a request um, to do a rundown of how exactly you get this uh, sexy little outfit I'm wearing here in my ACC. Um, it's pretty easy. You have to S rank every mission, every main op, but it, which sounds daunting, but it's not. It's simple enough. Look at all those S ranks, and you don't have to S rank the replays. And um, S isn't for stealth or anything, it's for speed, so it's not that difficult. Just clear the mission as fast as possible. I'll be running through all of the ones that you need to that you need to finish in order to unlock this costume. And uh yeah, probably won't even need to watch the whole thing cuz it's that simple. Hop right in. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those 9 years behind you and return this big boss. That's how Cox would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. Alright, here we are in mission one and we're gonna hit the ground running. Keep in mind during this entire experience, trying to ass rank every mission, get this costume. S is about speed for the most part, but um, on the missions that they aren't uh, particularly about speed, we'll be going over that, how to deal with it, and um, the ones that aren't about speed are honestly just about completing your objectives, just doing all of your objectives rather than doing some of them fast. Uh, so, um, you, seeing as you're you're going for the suit, you've clearly already played the game, so you know where Miller is already, and this is gonna um, be to your benefit, so you don't have to go look for the intel. You just run directly for Miller, and this is gonna be. Uh, something that happens repeatedly throughout this run that uh, your knowledge of your previous playthrough is going to help you a lot here so you don't have to go looking for intel files or anything you just know where to go and you go and uh, to get that mission done as fast as possible exfiltrate out of the hot zone as fast as possible so uh, i'm going to fast forward here to um, when i actually get to where miller is Alright, coming in hot, and uh, I've already been spotted. Gonna try and put this guy down as fast as possible. Uh, go sleep. Alright, passed out. So, here, we're gonna wanna try and stay stealthy, but also fast. So don't worry about just gunning down people in front of you. Just take him down fast, and fast and clean, hit him in the head, and then keep running. Just want to tear through the space as fast as possible, get Miller, and you don't want to be detected because they will shoot Miller, and he's gonna, he's a very soft guy, uh, he's gonna, they're gonna fill him full of holes if you have an alert going and you try to just run out of there, so, try to be mostly stealthy, but, uh, be snappy about it, uh, so Miller is just right up here, the building to my right. Yep, here we go. Uh, and there's a guy in this doorway to the right most of the time, so you're gonna want to watch out for him. He isn't here this time, but uh, he tends to just camp that doorway. Get Miller, and um, sadly you can't wormhole Miller. So if you have the Fulton wormhole, don't uh, get your hopes up about using that for uh, the ops in this game where the where the dude's injured. 
It works on just regular guys, but on mission targets you can't just uh, wormhole extract them. So you're going to have to run Miller back to the chopper, which we are not going to go to where the game calls the chopper to. We're actually going to call it somewhere else so we can so we don't get jumped by the skulls, which are really strong. And if you aren't heavily armed or have an explosive for this mission, you're not going to want to fight them. You're not going to stand a chance. And if you go there anyways and you have to run away, you have to waste your time running from them being chased. So just call the chopper somewhere else so you don't have to deal with them. And uh, just fast forward to when I get that S rank. Alright, mission 3, so as soon as this mission, before this mission even starts, what you want is a sniper rifle. That's it, that's all you need, you don't need any buddies unless you want a horse to speed it up, but the primary thing that you're going to need for this mission is a sniper rifle. Go to where I go, shoot the guy, don't miss his head, and then uh, you have the easy S rank. Alright, so in the prep phase of mission 4, you're going to want to get a grenade launcher. That's your top priority. It's all you're going to need for this mission. Speed and uh, grenade launcher. We're going to be getting on top of a mountain, which gives view to all three of the communications things that you need to take out, which will be simple with a grenade launcher and uh, to snag you that easy S rank. So let's fast forward here to uh, a crack that you need to climb up to. To, in order to uh, get this vantage point that'll just let you wipe this mission very easily. That 
Montana is with us. Nice. That's the second one. Good work. Alright, mission 5. So for this mission, you're not going to need anything in particular. Any particular weapons, just bring whatever you're comfortable clearing a base with. It's a really easy mission, in and out. Uh, there's a crack on the side of a cliff that will make this a joke, so just fast forward till we get to that crack. Alright, so this is where the real infiltration is starting. This is the base. Watch out for the spotlight. Shouldn't be too much of trouble. Just wait for it to look away. Make a mad dash for this crack that I'm looking at here. Let you climb on top of uh, the base. Do a quick and easy uh, entrance. Yep, zooming in there on the map. That's where the crack is. Alright, so we're gonna climb this thing. Uh, which will allow us easy entry into the left side of the base, which is where the bunker is. Which is where, uh, the prisoner that we want to extract is. He's gonna help you with your bionic arm. So, run over here. Climb us a little bit. Up, up and over the hill. And, uh, there's only, like, three, four guards you're gonna have to deal with this route. At night, at least, uh. I don't know about daytime, there's probably going to be more during the day, but, uh, still very easy infiltration route, probably the easiest to get in and out as fast as possible. Uh, so the dude you're rescuing is going to be in that red door behind that guard that I just shot. Uh, and then if you have the wormhole device, you could just fault them as soon as you get to them. Otherwise, look for a hole in the roof, place them under it, and then fault them out of there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it from here on out. It's just, uh, exfiltrating as fast as possible. Alright, so here, if you have the wormhole Fulton device, you could just exfil out of here immediately off the top of that crate. But I didn't for some reason because I thought I had to show you how to get out fast without needing the wormhole device. But uh, I'm sure all of you guys could uh, could grasp how to just run out of a base fast as possible. Just run back to the helicopter. Easy, easy S rank. Gonna fast forward till we get there and show off that S rank. Mission complete, and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Alright, so I didn't record the uh, intro to this mission, but this is uh, Where Do the Bees Sleep, which is uh, going to be a bit longer than the other ones that we've done so far because you need to um, ride a really long distance, so definitely bring a mobile buddy like D Walker or D Horse for this one, or else you're in for a real slog of a mission. Alright, so I cut out quite a bit because there's a lot of in-between riding in this mission and there's a big old base that you just have to walk through and it's not a great time, but um, I I've uh, cut forward to the outpost here uh, with the helicopter helping patrol with these guards. 
this isn't too much, just a couple guards, and uh, if you want to have a rocket launcher or powerful sniper to take down this uh, helicopter, and if you don't, it's fine, uh, don't worry, you're just going to have to be a little more careful during this mission, and it's going to slow you down in an already very long mission. Um, and you're also going to want a rocket launcher to take down the skulls, which you don't need to worry about getting, you don't need to worry about packing, like, extra ammo or anything, because you're going to be getting the honeybee to kill the skulls and get out of there as fast as you can, which, uh, just cleared this outpost, so just going to fast forward to, uh, the actual main base. And, uh, before I fast forward, keep in mind that you don't need to follow this route that I'm taking, there is a way into the side of the compound which is gonna make your life a little easier it uh... starts you halfway into the base and there aren't many guards patrolling that area so consider that instead of uh... going directly into the front like i do Alright, so here's the magical hole which will lead you to your objective, <coughs> which hopefully you could uh, retrace in two times speed. I don't think it should be that hard, I'm pretty much running in a straight line the entire time. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna crawl through here, then we're gonna get our uh, objective, the honeybee. Uh, and then after that we'll be jumped by the skulls. Uh, don't be sk uh, shy about using the honeybee's ammo, because we're here to be fast, not to get the full bounty on the honeybee. So, um, yeah, just get the weapon, blow him to kingdom come. Good luck. Now you just need to bring it back. Call the chopper from your iDroid. You are not to use the honeybee. The order was to recover it with its ammunition. Great work.